My work is working on the paleontology, uh, you know, fossil mammals. My father, actually, uh, he was a geologist. So when I was a kid, and uh, uh, like a seven or eight year old, he always brought me with him into the mountain where he do the geology. And also where I live, my, my, my home, my family, which is in South China. And there's a museum of natural history across the street. So after the school, I usually went to that uh, museum and look, look around at their, their uh, uh, display. And I'm particularly interested in the early evolution of mammals. Early, I mean those living about uh, 200 million years ago to about uh, 30 million years ago. So it's a long geological history. We all do field work and as a paleontologist, and that's one of you know, the interesting part uh, to be a uh, paleontologist because we have the opportunity to go to this uh, remote area in you know, a Gobi Desert. Working in that area, it's always that, that kind of story I can tell you. I can spend a whole day to tell you that kind of a story. But I tell you one, whatever reason, we, and that year we rented a two-wheel drive vehicle. The, the driver is a little um, careless and uh, we said, you know, stop, stop, you know, this is an outcrop, so it's a cliff right in front of us. And he said, well, that's all right. And he just uh, drove like uh, 10 meters uh, far away. And the vehicle got uh, stuck. So I was in the middle of the day. The temperature is about 110 degrees or something like that. It's very hot. And we are more than 100 kilometers away from where we live. You can, you can die if you don't know where you are, if you don't know how to deal with that. Fortunately, in these days, we can use the, like the Google Earth to know the surrounding area where you can find anything. So in that particular case, we know to out the north, there is a water canal. And fortunately, after we walked about 10 kilometers, we got the cell phone uh, uh, signal. And then we call Beijing uh, to call our colleagues in Beijing and then tell us, you know, the local people's telephone number, we call the local people and they send a vehicle to, uh, to us. We, we made it. We, are, we were eventually very happy that we didn't, uh, you know, get into any serious trouble. For all of us, we already have something in, in our mind, which I call, you know, it's my dream. So every, every time we go out there, in my mind, I will say, you know, I, I, I hope I will fight this, fight that, fight that. Sometimes, you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's better to be, uh, you know, lucky than to be smart, uh, in a way that uh, those specimens, it's just, uh, it's, it's by chance preserved. And uh, I happen to be the person who noticed that and studied that. In a, in a way, I have to try very hard to fight those. But on the other hand, uh, you know, you are lucky you fight it.